issue of uh, transfer of police officers, I'm glad to say that I was here on Sunday and I got the same information which I communicated to my uh, boss, the, the DIG. And I'm glad to report that the DIG took that uh, immediately and he actually acted from his office. The officer in charge is Bania was transferred and all the, na the names of all the officers that I had gotten from members of public here were transferred out by my boss. What I needed to, I mean, to um, put clear is that you know you cannot transfer somebody today and he moves today because this somebody has to be given a week or so to prepare to move as the other officer comes in because we cannot leave a vacuum. The OCS will not leave before he or she officially hands over duties. And even those other officers, some of them have got files to investigate, which they have to hand over to their respective officers. Therefore, in the meeting that we had with the leaders of this uh, region, we agreed that uh, we have to instill discipline to uh, the communities, that, because they, they, you cannot have, uh, fight your own government. Yeah? We have to instill discipline, as the regional commander, I have to ensure that my officers work within the law. They have to be professional. Yeah? And if there is any excesses, then I have said it every other moment that I pour. Are yeah? independent. They always, as part of the law, checks the, any excesses that are done by police. But uh, the law does equally not allow a member of public to go throwing stones to a police station because they think that the OCS or whoever person has not been uh, transferred or anything. Therefore, my appeal is that let us accept, mostly leaders, let us accept to manage, to show leadership to the communities that God has uh, I mean, given us to lead because some of these youngsters, some of them are very young, like today, those uh, boys stand up with three kids, about 10 years, are the ones who had put, uh, uh, I mean, bonfires in, on the road. Very young children. Yeah, so, so we are saying, kindly leaders, let us know that the positions that we hold are gone given. And we still be accountable before God and before even the laws of this country. And um, so kindly let us be responsible. Let us ensure that things are done the right way. So I don't the leaders here. Okay. And for those that I work with in Migori know that I, my, my number is with everyone. Therefore, instead of burning, instead of, why can't you call me? Why can't you inform me? Because I also have a, 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 a boss to inform. Yeah? And I also can, I calm down. Last Sunday I was here. Today I'm here to ensure that things are peaceful. So let us kindly lead us, lead us, lead us, lead us again, lead us. Please let us not politicize peace. Yeah, yeah. Mikakati ile mewako hata ukiangalia, unaona serikari wadidi, unaona askari kila mahali. Na askari, kila askari wakona leaders wao. Yeah, ambao pia our leaders wanajibika. Kuonekana kwa askari around us means serikari imechukua nafazi wakuekisha kuna usalama, na ndiposa nikaja, tumeongea na wana viongozi kule ndani, na nakuwa kikishia kwa mba kutakuwa na tofauti kutoka leo kuenda mbele. Na kama kutakuwa na chochote la, la, la kulizana, simu yangu iko wazi, nipigia nitakuja. Hata kama ni kukapa wiki ishe, mwezi ishe, haina shida maana huku ninyanza, mbaka kutulie na kutulie, kutulie tuli maana pia tuko na county commissioner na tuko na viongozi wengi. Ni wajibu wetu. Atusaidi wananchi tunawatumikia tuna tunaudumia. Maana ni wajibu wetu kwa, kwa wananchi. I want to say that uh, without fear of contradiction that Kenya has always had very cordial relations with our neighbors, Uganda, Tanzania. Therefore, what I would want to say without fear of contradiction is that our relations as well, if there are few things here and there, we can sort them out ourselves. Because if it's somebody coming from outside, we are able to identify that person and bring him to the authorities to answer to the same. Because the laws are very clear. If somebody is here in illegally, there's also a law on that. If we go to Tanzania illegally, there's also a law on that. But that has been done in the midst of peace. Without peace, it will be chaotic. It will be bad for all of, for all of us. Therefore, kindly let us be responsible. Everything is doable. 
Yeah, everything is doable. And kindly, let us not politicize. Let us do it as civilized citizens who, I mean, who are able to conduct themselves well. Everyone? Uh, thanks once again for being with us. I also want to take this opportunity uh, uh, to sincerely convey my condolences to the families who lost their loved ones. It is unfortunate within a, a span of one week we've uh, lost of, uh, lives, yet we're supposed to protect life. Uh, I can say confidently, and I can say that, and I can assure you that, uh, what actually we agreed with the readers in the last meeting, uh, most of those issues have been uh, implemented. Again, we followed up on the same, same issues we've had the regional police commander say. We've been communicating, we've been talking, and uh, we've been trying to ensure that we are able to restore uh, sanity in our, in our society. Uh, what I would request our local readers, our young brothers and sisters, please give peace a chance. We have no other way. We've uh, looked at the areas where we have weaknesses, and uh, I can assure you, we're going to revamp them. We're going to ensure that there is a, a communication between the readership and the security system, which has been down. We're going to ensure that the readers themselves, the communities themselves, are enlightened, are aware of the, their rights and responsibilities. Let us, if it is business, let us conduct, conduct it above board. We are in the border town. That is where you have the customs here. That is where you have the immigration. So we need to, to engage each and everyone to ensure that you follow the law, whatever you're doing. If we follow the law, we will not have cases where people will go and have some uh, illegal, uh, illegal settlement agreement somewhere. We have the, 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 the rules and regulation governing each and everything. And I'm appealing again, once again I'm appealing, let us not politicize security, let us not make political capital out of the situation we are finding ourselves in. This is a prime uh, investment destination for everyone, not only in Migori, but other areas. And with communities from all over the country, not only the country, we're talking the region and in the world. So we need to be careful. Very little thing, a small thing, can grow up what we've taken years to build. We believe so, and uh, we've uh, evidence that there are some local politicians who have been importing goons. The young boys you see around here, throwing stones, buying them bangi, uh, illegal drugs and other alcohol and bringing them using the border borders, border borders and the panya roots so that they can come and cause mayhem. Please, it took us about 20 years to have the road we have in currently. We don't know when we'll be able to do another one. It is very expensive to do that. We need to, to, be, to guard it with jealous. We need to take care of our infrastructures. They're important. They are the ones which will make people to come in here. They are the ones, once we have the investors, will make the, them to invest, create jobs for our young people. There are quite a lot of opportunities, funds for the young people, which they can be able to use. Forget about being given 100 shillings. There are opportunities in government and there are adequate resources to ensure that young men are able to boost themselves and start for themselves economically. <laughs> kwa rudi wasileta mambo ya kuchochea watu kwa rudi tufanye maendeleo tuongee na vijana wetu na tumeshaongea tumeongea hata na chairman wa maboda boda wakitoka hapa wataenda kuitisha, kuitisha mkutano na vijana wao na waeleza kile kimeendelea hapa kwa hiyo hatungependa jambo kama hili tena liweze kutokea asante sana hao watoto mmeona wakiandamana hao watoto wanatoka nchi jirani ya Tanzania na mimi mwenyewe nimeshapiga ripoti mpaka hata kwa mkubwa wa children office kule Tanzania kwamba watoto wenu wanatuangaisha saa mbili wako hapa wamekuwa chokora hapa na hii ni kazi ambayo machifu wangefanya sasa utepetevu wa machifu wajui kazi ile wameandikwa wafanye hao watoto tunataka wakuwe watoleo wa, wa hapa warudi kwao kwa sababu wakiamka asubuhi ni hapa na ndio wanaleta hizi matatizo unaona mtoto wa miaka kumi, miaka sita, anakuja kurusha mawe je huyu mtoto akifika 15 years si ndio watakuwa majambazi wa kutupika hapa 
Kwa hiyo tungeomba kwanza hii inatakikana hata viongozi wetu wafanye muda waenda waongee na wakubwa hapo tumejaribu tulifanya hata hapa mkutano hapa wa Afrika Mashariki tukawaambia wamekuja hapo tukawaambia hawa watoto wenu wanatusumbua eh eti mama zao ndio leo nauza ndizi migori sasa kama wanauza ndizi migori watoto hawaendi shule kwa hiyo tungeomba hawa watoto wazibitiwe hapa warudi kwao wakafanye kwa sababu huko kwao hakuna mchezo kama huo warudi kwao waende shuleni ama mama zao wawarudishe mahali waliwatoa kwa sababu wengi wale wako hapa ni wale wana mabwana wameacha bwana zao